So this is another tutorial on how to resize uh, images online for your website, for your blog, for YouTube, channel art, for those kind of things. So this is specifically for people who don't have Photoshop uh, and don't want to use GIMP, which is a free tool. So for these online tools, I think they're really, really good for when you're just doing the occasional blog post, uh, you know, new page on your website and so on and you just need to do them quite quickly and simply. If you're doing them in bulk, a lot of images at a time, then I definitely recommend using something like Photoshop where you can automate it more. So for this one, we're using an extension to Google Chrome, and that extension is called, or an, or an app is called Pixlr Editor. Now to get that, you go to this little bar here, you go to More Tools, you go to Extensions, and it shows you the ones you've already got and then right down the bottom you can go to get more extensions and you can search for it in here so it's called Pixlr Editor I think. and so you can see rate it because I've already uh, got it up on here so this is the one here this is what it looks like uh, you add it to Chrome and then from there it pops up in your apps, which I've got up on my book, I've got it set up here. Otherwise, when I open a new tab, um, I can just open a new tab and click on this apps button here. So it comes up here. I click on this, and if you are just doing this with a tutorial, then you'll already have this done already. So we're resizing, so we just want to open an image from our computer, and I'm going to get this mountains landscape and road New Zealand one. And what we're going to do is we're going to resize this for YouTube cover art or YouTube um, channel art, I think it's called, channel art size. And we're going 2560 by 1440. So I've opened my image here and then the first thing I want to do is go on image. If you've used Photoshop before then this will take no time at all. Image size, constraint proportions, it was what, 2560. So I just type that in here. 2560. Now this one is already uh, the right proportion, so that's all I'm going to need to do. So I can go OK. Now up here it's got other stuff that you can do with it. So making new layers, changing things around, changing the colors, adjusting. Something I like to do if I'm doing photos and putting them up on a website is I like to add some saturation to them. And sometimes I make them look almost overly saturated. Uh, because the colour on a web page always seems to dull out a little bit. So that looks a little bit gaudy there, but I'd say that once it's up on a website, it's actually going to look pretty good. So then the next thing you want to do from there is we know that the images are already the right size. You can double check there if you need to, and then you come to File here, and you can save. So you go to Save here, and then from here you can muck around with your quality and you can see the size that you're going to get and also you can change your format as well so good for most photos, PNG, for transparent backgrounds and then uh, other ones here so you can play with your photo here and you can see it changes the, the size here so again you're looking at a matter of um, whether it's for your blog or for your website where you want to keep the quality quite low or if it's you know for YouTube or Facebook where they're taking the photo, uh, in which case you don't need to worry about the quality at all. Uh, oh, you know, you want to make it the best quality that you can, and you don't need to worry about the file size at all. So in this case, we're going to we're making it for YouTube, so we're going to make it as big as we can. So then we just go to OK. You get to adjust it here. So we'll just call it test, and you save it to wherever you choose, and it all happens pretty quick. So. If I come up to my desktop, uh, then I can find my test image. And if we have a look at it here, then boom, it's resized, looks great, colors are nice, and uh, didn't take very long at all. So that was a very simple one uh, because we didn't need to crop it. So we'll try another one that maybe we do need to, that we do need to crop. So we're going to go to open image. And we've got it. So you can see our other image is still open up here. So we're going to close that one because we don't need that anymore. Yep. And we don't actually need to save it. So we're going to go cancel. 
we're going to get rid of our old one. Do you want to save it? No. Okay, so now we've got our new image and we want to do the same thing here. We're going to set it up for a YouTube cover art size of 2560 by 1440. So we're going to go to image, image size, and we'll put in one or the other. So we'll go up here 2560. Uh, and so that's gone to 1920 constrained proportions. Okay. So then, I mean, the next best thing would be if we could crop it and we could measure the crop size easily. So that's the crop tool there. So you can come across here and you can then come here and you can see on the top right there's what's called a navigator. And so as you drag it around, you can see that there's, it actually shows the proportions. So right there is 2560 by 1440. And then I can move that up and down. So I can see exactly how it's going to look. You know, do I want the photo? Do I want the boat in there? Do I want the top? Do I want it right from the bottom? So I'm going to put it up around here. And then I'm going to push return. And so that's cropped my photo. So boom, done. And oops, you don't go up to that one. You come up to the one in here, file, save. And again, you can play with your file size there. So we're just going to make it the best that we can. Uh, and we will rename it. We'll rename it test2, and we'll have a look at that one as well. So I've hardly used this tool before, to be honest, but it's because I've used Photoshop before, it takes no time at all. So if, and it's just like super, super easy to pick up on. So I didn't actually see where that photo went to. Uh, test2, so we've got it here. And you can see it's cropped, it looks great, everything's fine. We didn't even play with the colors on that one, but super, um, you know, it's everything that you need. So if you don't have Photoshop, if you're using Chrome, this is a fantastic option for you. Uh, don't forget if you're putting them onto your own website, uh, you're onto blog posts, onto blog posts you might want to rank uh, in Google, you know, using some SEO and uh, some outreach and getting it on social media. You want to keep your page sizes light. So if you've got a page with a lot of images on it, especially, then you want to get them down. And you definitely don't want to put up these giant cover images directly onto your website that are, you know, 3.5 megabytes or so on. So make sure that you take the time to put them through a tool like this. Hope this helps someone. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Cheers.